Are you planning to invest in Uniparts India Limited IPO? In this video, you will get lots of clarity regarding Uniparts India IPO. Hi, this is Anik Mitra. I am a SEBI registered investment advisor and in this video, I will discuss on various aspects of Uniparts India IPO. But please note, this is not a buy or sell recommendation. It's not a... Uh, recommendation for applying this IPO or to restrain for applying this particular IPO. What, whatever I will be discussing here that is solely my own understanding which I am sharing with you. It's not a recommendation. I am not recommending anyone neither to invest nor neither to apply not to restrain from applying the IPO. I'll be sharing my own view, my opinion regarding Uniparts India. So let's begin. Firstly, we will uh, try to discuss regarding the company. So I'm in the website of Uniparts India Limited. Uh, at a nutshell, I just wanted to have a look into the uh, regarding the company. Uniparts India is an Indian, India-based global manufacturer of engineered systems and solution very generic word the group is one of the leading supplier of systems and components of the off highway market and operates out of six manufacturing uh, plants three warehouses uh, one distribution center across across three continents and with its products reaching over 25 countries worldwide now we will try to check their product line uh, their key product is three point linkages uh, they are the global supplier of this particular uh, product and uh, let me tell you what this three point linkage is. It is basically uh, a joint uh, which attaches plows and other implements to an agricultural tractors. So what happens is that plowing was done by guy ke through hota tha. Uh, uske baad hand tractor came to uh, ye jo, uh, गाय के थ्रू जो गाय से जो खींच के जो प्लाउइंग होता था वो अभी ऑब्सोलिट हो गया है देयर इज नो ह्यूमन लेबर इन्वॉल्वड देयर इज नो एनिमल इन्वॉल्वड तो क्या होता है कि जो प्लाउज अभी नाउ इट इज अटैच्ड टू द ट्रैक्टर एक प्लाउ जो मेकानाइज्ड एक प्लाउ ट्रैक्टर के साथ फिट किया जाता है जो थ्री पॉइंट लिंकेज से होता है और हार्वेस्टिंग के टाइम में भी हम लोग देखते हैं कि जो क्रॉप्स को कट करता है तो उसके लिए पहले लेबर्स का जरूरत पड़ता था अभी क्या करता है उसके लेबर्स की जरूरत ही नहीं है वो एक इंप्लीमेंट अटैच किया जाता है और ट्रैक्टर के साथ इट कीप्स ऑन रोटेटिंग और उससे क्रॉप को क्रॉप्स काटा जाता है so that is basically uh, attached with three point linkages so it has a very big usage uh, because tractor ka main jo usage hai, that is agriculture mein hai to iska jo market global market it is said that its global market is around usd 360 to 370 million matlab it was in 2021 and is expected to grow at 6 to 8% in 21 to 26 jo industry ka uh, view hai and this uh, growth is possible due to robust growth in tractor industry. So, this uh, main jo, uh, market hai, uh, growth hai, that is found in North America, in Europe, in India, and steady growth also found in China and Japan. In 2021, uh, around 50% of the global tractor production took place in India. Uh, followed by China 12%. So, tractor ka market is the is the market. It is the three-point linkage ka requirement. Bhi, utna zyada hai. So, India is also a very big market. And next uh, is precision machine parts. So, this is a basically highly uh, precise machinery parts manufactured based on custom specification of customers. Uh, used in applications like CNC tuning. Precision machine parts for articulated joints had a market size of USD 648 million 
uh, in, in 2021, where China has the highest 41% market share, followed by Japan 24%, Europe 13%, North America 11%, and India 8%. Now, Uniparts is a key manufacturer of precision machinery parts and hydraulic cylinder solution to the mobile equipment market. So, construction sector mein jo mobile equipment hota hai, uh, jo, uh, 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 cranes boli, chota jo cranes hota hai. तो उसका जो हाइड्रोलिक सिलेंडर होता है हाइड्रा होता है तो ये सारा प्रोडक्ट्स में इसका जो सिलेंडर होता है और यूनिपर्स उस वो सिलेंडर मैन्युफैक्चर करता है और प्रिसीजन मशीन पार्ट्स भी वहां पे लगता है तो नाउ यू कैन हैव अ चेक इन द रेड हरिंग प्रोस्पेक्टस ऑफ द कंपनी दिस इज डिस्प्लेड इन द you can have a check in the in their index this is basically yes this is the index uh, you can read various information from here uh, regarding the company their capital structure uh, then industry overview their business everything you can have a check which i have already uh, precised and discussed now the question is their uh, financials now uh, i uh, let me show you in this particular website chitargarh.com uh, in a precise manner uh, regarding their uh, performance, financial performance. Now, they are uh, in 19, uh, in, this, uh, in March 19, they had a revenue of uh, 1062 crore. Afterwards, couple of years, 20 and 21, it was a bit subdued due to uh, COVID and all. So revenue jo tha 938, 939 crore tha, fir 947, 948 crore tha. Or uh, fir jake 31st March 2022, they have posted very good result, 1231 crore of top line dikhaya. Or uh, dekhiye iska pet jao jo achcha khasa barat pet ne pet me dekhne ko mil raha jo growth dekhne ko mil raha That is 2022 me almost 167 crore. So uh, June me bhi uh, Top line 348 crore, this is Q1 FI 23 and uh, PAT 50.5 uh, 50 crore. So, borrowing is very good. In 2019, 346 crore ka borrowing is very good. In June, mein 114, 115 crore. Ka tha. This is very good. But the final thing regarding the IPO, uh, whether it is good or bad. अगर मेरा ओपिनियन बोलिए तो ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द इशू इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द कंपनी विल नॉट रिसीव एनी प्रोसेस क्लियरली इट इज रिटन इन द रेड रेड हरिंग प्रोस्पेक्टस इन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द इशू इट इज एट 111 पेज नंबर लेट मी शो यू लेट मी गो टू पेज नंबर 111 ऑफ रेड हरिंग प्रोस्पेक्टस basis of the offer price no next page so uh, you can have a check here I'm going to come to that particular page it is taking uh, unnecessary time uh, so the most important part is Objective of the offer. Let me show you here from here. Uh, the objective of the offer is the key thing what I feel and the company it is clearly said that the company will not receive any proceeds from the offer and it is clearly selling of the shares by shareholders means their promoters are selling their promoters or investors are selling their stakes and getting out or reducing their uh, percentage holding and uh, in that way they are basically uh, bringing this public offer so the proceed will go to the uh, the sellers uh, go go to the sellers pocket and it is no way going to in get invested in the business so that's why i'm not interested in this particular issue but it's completely my own call my opinion you may have a different thought and um, if you are really interested to invest or to restrain, you better check with your advisor, registered advisor, I would recommend. 
so you go with your registered advisor and uh, then decide whether to uh, invest or uh, to restrain from this particular investment now uh, 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 one another uh, key thing i would like to mention here the gray market premium of this unipers india is uh, around 65 66 rupees so it's around 11 percent on uh, the issue price so that is all uh, keep on watching my uh, videos and uh, in this series of uh, ipo watch i will keep on uh, disclosing uh, my opinion regarding various ipos thank you so much for your time and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, please keep on supporting my videos thank you so much